Something else that can really impact our personal brand credibility is the car we drive. Remember what I said, everything we do or don't do, everything we say or don't say either adds to or takes away from our personal brand credibility. So just like our dress sends a message, so does our car. What's the right car for you? I don't know. And I don't think there is any right car in any industry. But what I do know is this, your car and what you drive sends a message about your personal brand to your target audience. Just like your dress, you gotta take into consideration what the expectations are of your target audience. Here's a story I'll share with you from my Rainmaker U program. There was a guy in the program and he was coming up the ladder as a financial advisor. And he wanted to manage money of people who had million dollar plus net worths and business owners of five million dollars net worth or more. He then said to me, I think I'm gonna buy a Prius. And I said to him, if you buy a Prius, you're out of the program. And he kind of flinched and why? And I said, because when you pull up in a Prius in their driveway and they have Mercedes or Lexuses or BMWs and you pull up in that Prius, I don't think that that's gonna instill trust in them. You see, they might not want you to be flashy, but they certainly want you to be successful. So he said, isn't that kind of superficial? And I said, yeah, it is superficial, but that doesn't matter. That's the way the world works. So when you're deciding what kind of car you want to drive or you should drive, take into consideration what the expectations are of your target audience. Now I'm into stretching when it comes to buying a car, but I'm not interested in putting unbelievable burden on my shoulders. What do I mean by that? Look, if you're getting into residential real estate, let's say, and you're gonna be driving people around in a fancy neighborhood, maybe you stretch a little and you get a three series BMW or a, a three series Mercedes. But I don't think you should go out and buy a five series Mercedes or a seven series BMW. I don't think that it's wise to put that kind of pressure on your shoulders where you're more wor worried about making a payment than how you're gonna build your business. So when you do decide what kind of car you wanna drive, maybe it's the, I wanna be in the BMW lane or I wanna be in the Lexus lane or I wanna be in the Tesla lane. But you don't necessarily have to have the top level car that puts kind of financial pressure on your shoulders. Here's the third thing. Make sure your car's always immaculate. And this is important. Sometimes I'll go and I'll get into a client's car and it's a mess inside. And I don't mean like there's McDonald's wrappers all over the place. I just mean like there's, there's books and there's papers and there's kids sporting good stuff all over the place. Remember, your car reflects your brand. So you want your brand to be that you're put together. Make sure your car is immaculate at all times. Does it have to be detailed once a month? No, but make sure it's washed and clean. Make sure the tires on the car are clean. What you don't want to be, do is find yourself in a situation where you're apologizing for the condition of your car. So to kind of wrap it up, there's no right car for any industry. Just take into consideration what the expectations are of your target audience. It's okay to stretch, but don't put undue financial burden on your shoulders and buy a car that's outside your financial means. And number three, make sure your car is immaculate at all times.